Hey guys, welcome back to Curse Only Means. Um, this is gonna be Week Four Power Rankings Part Two. These are the top 16 teams up in the info box. There should be popping up the link in the top of your screen somewhere. You should be able to find the link to Part One, which is the bottom 16 teams. So I would recommend watching that before this video, or just you can watch it after this video. I just really would really like it if you went ahead and watch that. Um, and as I said in the part one, um, I don't know if you watched that or if you are going to. I'm going to go ahead and say it in this video just in case. But I'm going to start posting these earlier in the week, start posting them on Wednesday. I'm going to start moving my Washington previews up to um, Saturday unless Washington has a game um, on Thursday, like on Thanksgiving. They have one every year. So um, I'll figure that out when the time comes. But right now, I'm going to move these earlier in the week just so um, I don't have to start saying stuff like, oh, well, um, like, like any time there's a team who played on Thursday, I have to kind of remind you, like, I made these before the Thursday night game. And it just gets really confusing. So let's go ahead and get into this, the top 16 teams. So um, these are the teams that are, you know, having a pretty good season. Um, and again, the 16th is going to be having a worse season than ninth. Don't think like, oh, well, the team at 16th isn't having a good season. I did not. I just ranked them and then gave them, you know, this logo. <laughs> so at sixteen we have the Falcons who dropped down four after another, another loss, and with Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Russell Cage all questionable for this next upcoming game, I'm just not feeling them right now. Um, and again, I mean Matt Ryan has been putting up lots of yards. Todd Gurley has been playing really well, uh, and they they managed to stay up at sixteenth, but right now they just. I mean, they, they haven't been showing me enough to, you know, stay up to where they were. I mean, I had them at 12th last week, and then they, they keep on disappointing me. They keep on choking, and that's, a, I mean, I know you can say, oh, well, they're doing pretty good, but they're choking. You That just shows me that they're not playing their whole game. They're not playing as much as they could be, and that is not good, and that is, you know, why they dropped down to 16th, and if they continue to lose, they will drop down even farther. And I have a feeling that now they're playing Green Bay this week, they're going to be 0-4, and, and that's not good. At 15th, we have the Texans, another team with no wins. Um, and, I mean, I mean, now that David Johnson is playing pretty badly and their their wide receiver unit is pretty lacking, they, they, I, I mean, people, I mean, Texans are probably still holding out hope that maybe, just maybe the trade would work out and maybe, you know, David Johnson would come in here and he would be, like, the best quarterback the, not the quarterback, best running back the Texans have ever seen, and DeAndre Hopkins would completely play terribly in the Cardinals, but nah. This offense has been playing pretty badly, even for a team that had that bad of a trade. And I, I'm sure it wasn't just that trade. They are still playing pretty badly, like I said, for a team that made that trade. I mean, they do still have a lot of talent. This defense is, I mean, their defense, in my opinion, is what's really kind of scaring me right now. They, ha I mean, their defense is laying up quite a lot of points. This offense, it has been scoring, I mean, they've played against three tough defenses um and right now i mean and they're still managing to put up a lot of points in my opinion um compared to what other teams probably do so right now their uh, defense is really disappointing me their offense isn't disappointing me as much <laughs> let's go ahead and move on to 14th before i embarrass myself any further so 14th we have the colts um I, after week one i really started to think like oh maybe um Maybe I made a mistake saying they're going to be good at the beginning of the season. Now they've had two good games in a row, and now they're going up against the Bears this week. And, you know, I'm kind of feeling them. They bump up by eight this week. Dang, I didn't even know this that at first. But, yeah, they bump up by eight. Um, and right now, I mean, Phillip Rivers has been playing really well, in my opinion. Um, I mean, he's really getting into the system. We saw in week one they kind of came out stutter-stepping, but then they come back strong in week two. They beat the Vikings in week three. They had another pretty good game. And, you know, they're looking like a team that can really go somewhere. That defense is on fire. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's all I can really say. They're, they're playing pretty well. At 13th, we got the Steelers. They didn't really move very much. Their defense, I mean, they kind of played exactly how I thought they would. Um, I mean, their defense is definitely going to be one of the best in football I've really seen so far. They're 3-0. and They're first in the AFC North. Um, and they are, they're looking like a pretty good team. <laughs> I mean, Big Brent has come in here. And, I mean, before our season, I thought he, I said I thought he'd play pretty badly because of his injury. And now, <laughs> he's showing me up. He's playing pretty well. And the Steelers fans, I mean, you should be pretty excited. At 12, we have the Raiders, um, who they don't really move very much, but they do uh, bump down just a tiny bit. Um, I think if they had played as well um, against... The Patriots, as they did against the Saints, they would have launched up because I kind of correctly, as we've seen, guessed that against the um, Saints, it was kind of like a fluke. Like maybe they were 
I mean, obviously they have been playing pretty well. That offense has been pretty good. As I mean, even against the Patriots, they did show flashes and they did look pretty well. They did manage to score a lot of points. Um, but still, uh, they didn't play as well as they did against the Saints, and they do bump down just a bit. But um, that really, I mean, anything from not moving to moving up by like two doesn't really mean anything. It has a lot to do with teams moving around them. At 11th, we have the Arizona Cardinals who bumped down three. They lost to the Lions. Kyler Murray had a really bad game. Um, and now that Keandre Hopkins is questionable, uh, it's, I mean, luckily they have a pretty, I wouldn't say easy game. We, the Panthers looked pretty good last week, but um, they have a very, very, very winnable game here against the um, Panthers. So right now they kind of got to get stuff put back together. They looked really, really good in week two. Not week two, but just in both of their first weeks. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to see if they can keep that going. Are they going to continue playing as well as they did in the first two weeks, or are they going to play like they did in week three? I guess, in my opinion, not the best Lions defense. At 10th, we have the Tennessee Titans. As you've seen, Ryan Tannehill, not, not Ryan Tannehill, Ryan Tannehill over here. Um, and right now, on the, they've been playing really well, in my opinion. They managed to beat the Vikings. They're 3-0, and undefeated, looking really, really well. A lot of people were probably saying, like, oh, you know, they're going to go 9-7 and again. I mean, the um, last year was just a fluke. But now Ryan Tannehill's been making a lot of good passes. I mean, last year we saw a lot of him just handing off to Derrick Henry all the time. And now we've seen that he is a really good quarterback somehow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how that happened. I mean, he looked pretty bad with the Dolphins. Then you put him on a, you know, formidable team, and all of a sudden – He's playing a really good form, in my opinion. I think he's playing pretty well. I'm um, sorry if there's a little cut there. Um, I, uh, I, I ran out of memory on my computer, so sorry about that. But I um, forgot what I was talking about, so let's go ahead and move on to the ninth. What are the Patriots and... um. With the whole news that Cam Newton's injured, it really, not injured, but he has COVID-19, it really doesn't bump them down, like, way too much, um, in my opinion, but it still does bump them down a bit. I know, I mean, I know they've only got Brian Hoyer and Jared Stidham back there, but obviously they saw something in him. Jared Stidham, he is, I mean, he's young quarterback, and in my opinion, I, for all we know, he's going to come out here and play pretty well, and they do have one of the best defenses in the league, so it bumps them down, but they do still manage to be in the top 10, um, so yeah. Let's move on into the, you know, top eight here. And the eighth team is going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, if you're wondering why I'm going so fast, because I recorded this whole video and then I didn't realize that I ran out of memory until I was actually I was done. So we have about 20 minutes of wasted time here. So um, we've seen them kind of develop. I mean, in week one, the Buccaneers, they look pretty badly. And then in week two, they got their running game going. And now in week three, they've gotten their offense going and their defense rolling. Um, and we're really, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I'm pretty excited to see what they can do with, you know, all this talent that they have on their team. And, yeah, they're a pretty exciting team in the league right now, um, which is weird to say because last year they were not. And in seventh, we have the Rams. I mean, this defense that the Rams have is really just shutting down teams. We have seen, I mean, I, mean, I know they – let up 35 points to the Bills or whatever. But, I mean, they they still shut them down for a big portion of the game while they came back 32-28 to 28 before the Bills, of course. Got that one last touchdown there at the end. Um, anyway, so the Rams, I mean, their offense has been looking great, especially that running game, in my opinion, has been looking spectacular. And their defense has been completely demolishing teams. And in sixth, we have the Saints. Um, and with, I mean... They don't really move much. We've seen, you know, Michael Thomas got injured, yes, and then Alvin Kamara has kind of filled up in his role. I mean, in these past couple of weeks, he has been their number one rusher and wide receiver, surprisingly. So he's just showing to be one of the best players in the game. Um, and, yeah, I mean, they still have a really, really, really good offense, and that defense is pretty stout and is still taking over some teams. They have a pretty bad game there against the um, Raiders. They did play really well against the Packers. Um, so six is where they go, just outside of the top five. And in the fifth, we have the Bills. That defense is playing just as dominant, if not more, than it was last year. And Josh Allen has come in here and, you know, played some of the best football I've ever seen. I mean, he's getting like, I think he's already, I mean, he might already have a 1,000 yards passing in week three, which is insane. Um, not to mention he's a pretty mobile quarterback, which I'm a pretty big fan of. So, yeah, I mean, they, they are I mean, definitely a top-five team and definitely one of the best teams in the league. And in fourth, we have the Seattle Seahawks. Um, this offense is amazing. <laughs> They've been letting Russ cook, and he has been cooking a lot. 
Um, the one thing I will say is with Chris Carson questionable, Carlos Hyde questionable, they're, right now their um, running backs are Travis Homer and DJ Dallas. <laughs> it's it's, it's D-E-E-J-A-Y. Dallas, <laughs> DJ Dallas. That's such a weird. I'm sorry. Um, if DJ Dallas is somehow watching this. I'm sorry, but that's just such a weird name. But anyways, so um, right now, yeah, the um, the, the Seahawks offense might be the best in the league right now. And yeah, fourth is where they go. And in third, we have the Ravens. Um, and I know I'm not gonna take this last week too seriously, but they did um get a loss. They're a pretty bad loss against the um Chiefs. And, yeah, I mean, Lamar Jackson had by far his worst game of his career. Definitely passing. I don't know. I mean, he did some good things on the ground. But, again, he's been doing that a lot throughout his whole career. Um, I mean, he just plays pretty badly against the Chiefs. In my opinion, if he wants to, you know, make it to a Super Bowl, eventually he's going to have to play the Chiefs. And, I mean, right now they bump down two, but not too much. <laughs> In a second, we have the Packers, who that offense has been completely just blowing up right now. I mean, uh, the one bad thing I would say, the reason that they're not in first is because that defense has been letting up a lot of points, in my opinion. They let up 30 points to the Saints. They let up 34 points to the pretty bad Vikings offense. Um, and right now, I think their defense kind of needs to step it up. And I think if their defense steps up, if they start shutting down pretty good teams, they can definitely replace the Chiefs in first place. The Chiefs, obviously, um, again, like I said, I don't want to re overreact from just one week, but they did look really well. Um, obviously, now I see, um, I kept on saying that I thought that the Ravens were far better than the Chiefs. And now I'm starting to see my mistake there. Um, the Chiefs move up, too. They are, in my opinion, the best team in the league. Patrick Mahomes is a beast um, and probably will be for these next couple of years unless something tragic happens. So, yeah, right now, um, yeah, that's basically the video. So if you um, watch the end, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to go back and watch part one if you haven't yet. Um, and yeah, so go ahead and subscribe. We do this kind of stuff every single week, along with predictions, along with Pat. No, we've already done power rankings. Um, you're watching this. Um, power rankings, weekly recaps, Monday night recaps, Thursday night recaps, preview for Washington games, my reaction to Washington games. Because I'm a Washington fan, and I like to just sit down and talk about them every now and then. Um, and yeah. Um, also in my description, you'll find links to my Instagram and Twitter, which I'd be very grateful if you went ahead and followed those. Um, um, I'm gonna start posting more. If I'm like, sitting down and watching the game, I'll go ahead and tweet about it. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and yeah, I hope you do some.